Mold in a ductless heat pump. This happens sometimes. I wanna talk about why and how to prevent and clean it. Welcome back, I'm Chris Moore with HVAC Pro Blog, and this week we're gonna talk about mold in a ductless heat pump. You see, they don't create mold. There, it just happens to be a great place for mold to grow. It's cold, dark, and wet, right? So don't be upset with the system that's installed. There's mold somewhere in your home, and this is where it's gonna land and grow. Typically, the most popular spot is on ductless systems, on the blower wheel and the coil and the pan where it's cold, dark, and wet. Now, I'm gonna give you a few recommendations, and all of these are from personal experience or contractor success stories. So first, let's talk about prevention. Cleaning the air filters regularly will actually improve the volume of air moving across the coil, stop that fan from ramping up and using excess electricity, and actually pulling some of that moisture off the coil. This all happens when filters get dirty throughout the season. Even better, during installation, you can actually apply some products in order to prevent mold from growing on your ductless system. One that I've heard a lot these days is BBJ Mold Control. I'm gonna tell you, this is an additional cost that's done during installation and application of this product, but it's still much cheaper than a deep cleaning or system replacement down the road. Word of caution though, if you're gonna use this product commercially, as in you're selling this as a service, most states across the country require a license, like here in Massachusetts. That's because BBJ mold control is actually an EPA controlled pesticide. Here in Massachusetts, that requires an application license and passing an exam from the Mass Department of Agricultural Resources. Also, you need to consider insurance premiums and anything else that this activity will impact with your business. Another option, is just simply operating your system in a heating mode when you're done in the cooling season in order to dry out that coil. This will actually prevent the conditions that mold looks for in order to grow by drying out the system and not having the cold, dark, wet place, right? We take out the wet. All right, so now we're gonna shift from prevention over to cleanup. If conditions have reached the point of cleanup, that means there's mold visible on the blower wheel or the cabinet of the system, and you're gonna have to call a technician, or as an HVAC contractor, you're gonna have to send a technician out to do significant cleanup. The most popular method here that I've seen is the mini split bib kit that's sold by SpeedClean. This kit is gonna protect the electronics portion of the ductless system, as well as the wall surrounding it, and give the opportunity of a technician to actually use some sort of power or pressure washer cleaner on that coil, pan, and blower wheel. An alternative, if you don't have this kit, is to actually disassemble the unit and pull the blower wheel out for a deep cleaning. But remember, this is gonna be a significant cost in labor and time to your technician and homeowner. Now let's discuss post cleanup. What should you do after you clean? Don't just clean and leave. You need to address the real problem in the home, the mold in the house. Otherwise, these same conditions and required cleaning on your ductless system is gonna have to keep happening year after year. This was my home. I would start looking in the high humidity, cold, dark, wet places, like maybe my basement and possibly crawl spaces. Installation of a whole home dehumidifier in any New England basement is a necessity. Like most homeowners, I found it close to impossible to keep up with the smaller reservoir type dehumidifiers in my basement, and I've actually switched over to a whole home dehumidifier. Now, once you've treated the real problem in the home, whether it's through dilution and ventilation or dehumidification with a whole home dehumidifier, killing any mold that's not visible could be done by a multitude of devices that's easily installed in a ductless system. I know now NuCal makes the iWave. You could easily install that in your ductless unit in order to prevent the growth of mold on that space. Of course, I've heard of other IAQ products like the Remy Halo and other pieces out there. So prevention is the key here. And if the earlier you install it in the system, maybe during installation, the less expensive down the road it's going to be and the healthier the home and the homeowner will be. Thanks for joining me this week at HVAC Pro Blog, where we provide advice for residential system design, quality installation, and system diagnosis. See you next week.